Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to do a quick video on how to install the black book binding tape on your mini album to um, to reinforce your spine. And I'm also going to show you how to apply it to your internal hidden hinge, which will also keep the hinge from um, wearing out on you over time. So it's going to take a few minutes. You have to be a little bit patient. The tape is a little bit difficult to handle, but it's it is well worth the effort. So this black book binding tape is available in our shop and I've been using it for some time and I've been promoting it um, and we are starting to carry it, like I said, and we've sold a few rolls. So I wanna show you how to handle it. So it behaves a lot like, um, uh, what's, what's the tape, um, duct tape. So if it sticks on itself, you really can't tear it apart uh, without damaging and stretching the tape. So if you do pinch the tape together, you need to trim that off and start fresh. So I just wanna give you that heads up going into it. So that's why I was saying you kinda of need to be ready to deal with um, some very tacky tape and have a very clean work surface so that it doesn't adhere to anything mistakenly. Okay, now having said that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the book because I think this is how the most common use of how people are gonna use this. I'm gonna go over um, and reinforce the spine on both sides. Now the tape isn't wide enough to just put one strip. It's only wide enough to cover part of each side of the hinge. So what I like to do is, and there's two ways to do it, I like to install my hidden hinge first and then apply my tape so that it's not only protecting um, the hinge uh, of the book, it's also further cementing the adherence of the hidden hinge to the album. So here's where the um, here's where the hidden hinge is attached to the album, and by adding this strip of tape, because um, I'm going to go around both sides, it's going to further um, secure this hinge to the book. So this hinge won't be going anywhere. So the way I do this is I get a tape measure, and I don't like I said I don't just cover the front, which you could do if you want to economize. You could just do. Um, essentially the outside of the book but I do come around just so that it's nice and neat all the way around but also so that it's further securing the hinge into the book so you need to measure the distance don't just take the, the width of or the height of the book and double it it's a little bit wider because of the wrapping so I measure it and what I'm coming up with is this is a ten and a half inch album and it looks like it's coming in at 21 and one, two, let's see, 21, just under 21 and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna trim my tape out to 21 and a half inches, which is slightly larger than I need it. And I'm gonna measure each side independently just in case there's some variation. Now I've got my, my mat in here upside down. You will need um, your cutting mat. And I'll show you why in just a second. Now let's get this in. Okay, so here's one. So we need to go to, did I say 21 and a half? Let me double check. I don't want to uh, cut my tape short, so I'm gonna double check. And yeah, 21 and a half. So I'm going to start rolling my tape out and then I'm actually going to adhere it directly to my mat at 21 and a half inches. Oops, I guess there's, I forgot I had uh, cut a small piece off earlier. We can use that somewhere else. I can use that on the hinge when we get to it. Okay, 21 and a half inches. So I'm going to start at 21 and a half over here and then back up to one inch. So that looks about right. So I'm going to set down my tape at 21 and a half inches. And then I'm just going to stick it to my mat. And not firmly, just gently stick it to the mat. Try to keep it off itself, sorry. So we're gonna go all the way and I'm just barely touching this. Okay, so now 
I want to make sure I'm still in, in film. So now that it's laid down, it's pretty straight. It could be a little bit straighter, but I, I can live with this. I can straighten this out after as I go. So now I know where to cut it. Press down this location where you're actually going to run the blade because it's going to want to follow the blade. So press that down. And then um, I should have had a straight edge in here. Here's one I can use. Apply your straight edge to where you're going to cut and cut a straight line. Make sure your blade is sharp and see that cuts off nice and clean. Now you're going to lift your tape and again, being very careful not to fold it over on itself, you're going to apply it to the book. The way I apply it is I come as close to the first hinge as I can get and I tape down the inside first, wrap around the back, and then come over the front again, okay? And I'm going to leverage the edge of the table so that as I apply this, my tape hangs down. It's not sticking to the table or to anything else. Okay, I'm gonna butt this up, and I'm just looking for roughly the midpoint of the book. Okay, and this will be form-fitting, so I wanna show you close up what I have done. So I've just applied it as close to the hinge as I could get, okay? So that puts a fair amount of tape across that seam. Now I'm going to hold it straight, and don't worry, because when we close the book, it's gonna stretch the tape, and the tape will go along with us. Now, before I press it into place, I want to roughly get it in the right position to come over the top of the book, like so. And then I'm gonna marry up these two edges, and I'm gonna press it into place, and then any air bubbles you have, you're going to work out with your bone folder. And so that's essentially how, I'm be how I've been using the book binding tape. And you can see it comes all the way across and makes for a nice clean line. So there's the tape from here to here. I know it's hard to see in this light from here to here. Occasionally, little bits of the side white show up. And I'm not concerned about that unless it's going to be in an exposed area like here. And I just run... Um, a black marker over that, and I, I prefer Sharpie um, to, to mask that. But only if it's going to be exposed. If it's not gonna be exposed, just leave it alone. This is gonna have a mat over it, doesn't matter. And then I'll come through here, right next to the spine with my Sharpie, and run it right down the edge to cover up that little bit right there. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we need a piece of tape that's 21 and a half inches long. And I'm going to start by laying it down at 21 and a half so I know where my end point is and then just back up to one. And you can see I'm working pretty hard to move the tape. It is very sticky. Uh, it sticks to itself quite well. Okay, so now I want to press this into place and use my um, box cutter to cut it. And I would recommend a heavy-duty box cutter. Um, I think that X-Acto knives are just not sharp enough. They're not heavy-duty enough to, to do this. And you have to be careful picking it up, or even just the process of picking it up can cause you to fold it over on itself. Okay. Okay, again, I'm going to leverage the edge of the table so the tape drops down to the floor while I'm trying to find my placement on this side. I'm butting it up against the hinge laying it down. And I'm gonna bring it around the front, or over the top actually, over the top here. And I'm standing it on its end, as I'm trying to get eyeball where it's gonna lay. There we go. And now pull it over. And I didn't get it quite as close as I'd like, so I can lift it. And as you can see, it didn't take the paper with it, but the longer it stays, the stickier it gets. So if you're going to re reposition, do it immediately. And there we go, and that's it. So now we have our reinforced spine with the, with the um, book binding tape. So 
it looks nice, nice and tight here. So I'm gonna run my bone folder over that um, before I'm actually finished with it. But I wanted to show you guys what I did. And as you can see, it, it, it finds the crease quite easily. Um, and it does make it a little bit tighter, but um, with a few minutes of working it, it will, um, it will get into that seam and the book will close nicely for you, okay? All right, so like I said, I'll burnish that later. So now I'm gonna show you how I've been using the tape on my hidden hinge. So this is a four pocket page hidden hinge. And you can see that I've um, already scored it uh, accordingly. So there's my hinge. So you wanna apply your tape to the hinge while it's flat. So what you need to do is trim it down the, to the height, score your marks, go ahead and add your tape on the back and then flatten it again. And now we're gonna add the tape. So I start just outside this score line and I'm gonna apply tape across. You could go this way, but I do up and down. That's the only way I've tried it so far. I suspect you could do either way. But I'm gonna go up and down and I'm gonna start just outside this last score line and go over to this score line. Because what I'm wanting to do is make sure I have tape right in that score, right at the hinge area, because that's where all the flapping and the up and down is gonna happen. So that's where the potential wear will be. So I, I trimmed this out for an eight inch album. So it is seven and seven eighths, seven and seven eighths. So I am going to cut my strips um, just over seven and seven eighths and then I'll come back and trim a clean edge after I get all my tape laid down. So I'm gonna start at the one inch line. I'm gonna go to eight. There's my eight. I'll use my straight edge. And you don't have to worry about being perfect right here because you are gonna trim it once you get all your tape in. Here's my first strip. I'm gonna turn this horizontally and I'm gonna make sure this tape covers that hinge. And then once you get your first piece in, you line every piece up off that piece, okay? So you're gonna put your next one in right on, butted right up against this. So what I like about this one is the fact that it looks like fabric. It's hard to see it here on camera, but this actually looks like fabric. Um, so it has a little bit of a matte quality to it. It's not shiny. The other reason I really like the book binding one, it's designed for this, right, um, is uh, things will stick to it. So when I put my mats on my cover and I put glue on top of that, this tape, um, whatever I lay on top will adhere. Now I've tried in the past using duct tape and that's been my problem is things don't stick to duct tape. Um, not for very long anyway. So I'm just budding these two right together. You can see there's a little bit of a seam, but we're gonna go over that with a black marker if we need to. But we really only need to go over it if it's exposed, like in the uh, hinge area. Okay, I think I'll do, yeah, I'll probably need two more strips. Okay, eight inches. I try to always leave one corner up off the mat so that I can pick it up without tucking, the, pinching the corner under itself. Okay, I'm gonna butt this right up against the previous tape, lay it down, and I'm gonna do one more strip and we're done. Now, if you wanted, you could measure the width of the tape, measure across your hinges, and locate exactly an even spot on both. But I actually don't do that. I just eyeball it. Um, uh, but then you would know exactly where to start laying down your first piece of tape. really very worried about it because when you once you construct your um, your hinge 
you're going to have a piece of matte designer paper come right up close to your hinge anyway. So most of this is gonna be cut. Nearly all of this will be covered. Okay, this is my last strip. It didn't go in straight. start over it didn't go in straight okay trying to get the hinge to lay down there we go oops I'm short Okay, there, we're all in. And now you can see that the edges are a little bit um, wonky. We're gonna flip it over and trim them off. And that'll be nice and clean when we're done. Not my preferred ruler. <laughs> it's not wanting to sit still. Okay, there's part of it. There we go. As you can see, it cuts pretty easily too. Um, but you, do, like I said, you will need a sharp blade. So you, um, one of the important things about this is making sure you get all the excess off because when you put your hinge together, you don't want sticky stuff hanging off the edge that will catch. I'm actually going to try to eyeball this with no straight edge. Oops, didn't cut all the way through. Okay. All right, so I have a little bit of cleanup to do, but I think you guys get the gist. You'll wanna do all this cleanup before you actually start to construct your hinge. So now that we're done, I'm gonna walk you through what it, show you what it looks like. I'm gonna come back and clean that up. I need a, um, a metal ruler. Um, so now you can see, you need to burnish everything in place, but you can start to see um, the score lines are, are trying to pop out. So actually it's pretty easy to go back now and fold your score lines into place and start rebuilding your hinge. So you can see where it is. And there's my tape on the back side. So I can actually start to rebuild my hinge. So that's all it takes to cover your hinge. And then you're gonna go fold your pleats, put them back into place and um, glue your peaks or tape your peaks together and then your hidden hinge is ready to be installed into the book. So I did it out of order. I applied, because this book already had a hinge in it, I applied the tape to the, to the outside of the book here. Um, but normally what you would do if you're gonna use it on your hinge is you'd put your hinge together, put your hinge in the book, and then apply this to the spine, and then you would further have more tape over the edge holding this whole hinge in place. But I hadn't had already applied my hinge to my book, so all you saw was the um, the second step. This would be the first step. This would be the second step if you're going to cover your hinge. Otherwise, just do this. Now, third thing you could do, and I haven't done it, but you could apply the tape to your book prior to adding the hinge at all. So what do I mean by that? So I mean once you have your cover completely wrapped before you put your hinge in you could go ahead and wrap the whole spine and hinge. And if you used three pieces of tape, it would go from here to here and cover the center as well, because I have uh, just, mm, just under two inches covered here. So this is two and a half inches wide. You could add a third piece to the center. 
if you didn't want to cover the spine at all, if you wanted that sort of fabric look to come through. So that's another way to do it. I haven't done it that way. Um, the tape is not uh, inexpensive, it's relatively expensive, so I try to use it really where I need it um, and not use it as an aesthetic, aesthetic um, element to the album just because it's so expensive. So we do have some of this in our shop. Um, I've been really happy with the results. Once you do um, your spine, you'll see, wow, it's really never gonna fall apart. Now the, um, the one challenge is, um, it is gonna be quite a bit thicker now, so when you go to put your pocket page on, you might have to work a little harder to get it on, or you might have to trim your pockets down a little bit. So the other thing is it's important to burnish this all into place well before you pinch your pleats together, um, because the tape on the edges might try to lift up as you're manipulating the paper beneath it. So that's uh, my quick video on how to, how to use this book binding tape, and like I said, I'm really happy with it. And um, I wish I could find something in a cream or a craft that I could use on my other albums. Uh, at this point, I don't build an album without it anymore. Um, so it was <laughs> that's part of the reason why I was so distressed about that cream one. It's like I haven't had to deal with a, a cracking spine since I started using it. So, well, I hope everybody enjoyed and I hope it's been informational and you guys um, feel confident to use the tape that you've purchased already because I know some of you have it. And if you have any questions, um, please email me email me at the shop or send me um, send me a, a comment here on this video and I'll answer your questions as they come up. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Again, this is Daphne and this is really with a tips uh, video on how to uh, use the book binding tape on your albums. Thanks, bye.